poor skin tones in your videos are something that can easily reveal you to be an amateur rather than a professional filmmaker. And let me be straight here, achieving cinematic yet natural skin tones is hard. It takes advanced filming skills and tons of time in post-production. But if you're a beginner and you really want to learn how to improve skin tones in your videos quickly and easily, I'm here to help. For this episode, I really try to make it as easy as possible and prepare just two simple steps to achieve great skin tones that anyone can follow. You'll be able to do this on any camera, you won't have to study any professional software. Well, let me tell you more after the intro. Hello there, my name is Roman and you're watching Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making greater videos. And today's topic is skin tones. It might be not so obvious why I bother about skin tones in videos in the first place, so let me just show you. I took my Sony a7 III camera and just turned it on without thinking about any settings for correct skin tones and with no post-production. Here's what I got. Then I tweaked the settings and added some post-production. No lights, just natural daylight from the window and no professional software, just simple Movavi video editor. Now check out the final result. As you can see yourself, much better. In the first example, my skin is very dark and pale. Some parts of it are dirty gray, some are too reddish. Well, it's hardly cinematic and does not look natural. In the final result, the whole frame has changed, but more importantly, the skin tones have become nice and cinematic. You can see that my face is now bright and colorful, but yet not too magenta, not too orange, not too green. Now just a little disclaimer for experienced filmmakers watching this video. I know, the final result is not perfect according to the standards of the industry. To get rich skin tones, pros use expensive lights, lenses, cameras and other gear and then spend hours correcting just one person's skin tones in professional editing software using vectorscopes, masks, curves, histogram and so on. But this video is for beginners and I really wanted to simplify this topic as much as possible. So in my example, I'll be showing you how to get nice and cinematic skin tones without expensive lights or other gear without tools like Max or vectorscopes. You can follow my tips using any camera, any lights and any software with just basic color correction tools like Movavi Video Editor. So step one out of two, set the correct white balance when filming. Let me just show you how wrong white balance affects the way we see skin tones in videos. In this example, I adjusted the settings so my footage is well exposed, but I didn't touch the white balance. It's just a random 5400K temperature I probably used for filming last time. So what do you say? It's not too bad, but very boring outside. My face is kind of pale and grayish. I guess I can do better. So let's find the temperature value for a white balance that would give us better skin tones. If I lower it to 4200K, it's obviously too cold. Again, if that was kind of an artistic effect I saw, it, I would consider this look. But it's not my case, so let's look somewhere else. This is what a 9200K white balance looks like. Obviously too warm for me. I guess it should be between the original 5400K and this point. So after trying several values, I stick with the temperature of 7200K. If you look carefully, you may notice that this white balance is not perfectly natural, and you're absolutely right. It's a bit more orange and warm than the reality is. But in this case, I choose to make my footage a bit more cinematic than natural without going too crazy, of course. But more importantly, with these settings, I love the skin tones of my face much better. Look how shiny and colorful they are already before post-production, especially compared to the 5400K and the other options. Some of you may ask, Roman, why pick up white balance values manually? 
Well, good question. I personally prefer to do this because I'm not always satisfied with the auto white balance that most cameras have to offer. There is a good tip many filmmakers give for setting the white balance. Instead of using the auto mode or picking up the values, before recording find something white in the room, like a piece of paper, and use it as a sample to let your camera set the white balance. Many cameras now can do that. And it's a great tip, but for me it's not perfect. For instance, my Sony a7 III suggested 800K in this case, which is obviously too warm and gave me the skin tones that are far from being natural. Surprisingly, the auto white balance mode, which I never use, in this case worked pretty well. These skin tones are pretty close to being natural, but again, kind of pale and boring. So if there's a chance to tweak the settings for more desired results, why not do so? This is why I always recommend you not to follow any patterns and copy someone else's settings blindly. I'll be glad if you use my tips, but don't forget to adjust it to your filming conditions, your camera, and ultimately your own artistic view. Okay, now we figure out what to do in the filming stage in order to get nice skin tones and stick with the 7200K temperature. The second and the final step is post-production. As I said, for making this topic as simple as possible, I'm not using tools like vector scopes or mess. Let's try to improve the skin tones using only the basic color correction tools you can find in almost any video editing software. Naturally, for my example, I chose working with my favorite program when it comes to fast and easy editing, Movavi Video Editor. Right before we jump into the editing stage, let me share with you some great offers by Movavi. Today's episode is a lot about camera settings and how we can use them to achieve a nice looking picture while filming, but we can hardly do that without post-production and editing software with some essential tools. In this regard, I'd like to recommend you check out a special offer brought to you by Movavi. Check out this bundle that includes Movavi Video Suite, the ultimate package of apps for making videos, and Picverse the brand new photo editor with smart tools that will help you enhance your photos with just a few clicks. I'm quite sure that healthy skin tones are important for both videos and photos. And if you want to go even further to improve the results you've got during the photo or video shooting, you can't do it without editing software. This is where Movavi Video Suite and Picverse can come in handy. Both programs include all the basic color adjustment tools and they are super intuitive, which of course makes the creative process faster and more enjoyable. You can start using them right away without wasting your time on instructions. Our promo code VLOG15 will give you a 15% discount on this bundle. You can download the free trials of both apps to check out their features on your own or click to the link below to proceed right to our special page with a discount. All right, let's get back to making great skin tones and Movavi Video Editor. I basically just need one feature that you can find in video editing software of any level, basic color adjustment settings. Well, Movavi Video Editor offers lots and color filters as well, but we only need the manual color settings which you can find here in the advanced section in the tools tab. For better skin tones, I increase the brightness, add more contrast, highlight and gamma. Be very careful with the last one. Finally, I drop the shadows a bit so they look darker. You can see that even slight changes in very basic settings can bring more volume to the frame in general and to the skin tone specifically. Now let's proceed to the most interesting part, adjusting the color correction settings. I start with the saturation, cause for now the frame is too pale and boring. You gotta go easy here. I think that's good. Now the last three tweaks that are the most important – hue, temperature and tint. Usually no one touches those, cause once you tweak any of them, look what happens. Crazy, right? But if you do it in moderation, they can be a great help, like in my example. Right now the skin tones are fine 
because we chose the right white balance when we were filming and adjusted the exposure and saturation settings in post-production. Yet my face could have been less grayish and more vivid and shiny without going too crazy. So if I lower the hue just a bit, like minus 4, my face gets more reddish and shiny. Next I add just one point of temperature, only one. Now my skin is not just reddish, but it's warmer, more healthy orange I would say. And the final step. I move the tint to the green side just a tiny bit, the lowest step I can afford. This way I add a bit of green just to offset the reddish and orangish look so my face and the whole frame look more natural yet quite stylish and cinematic at the same time. Hope you'll like the final result too because I'm satisfied. Again, to achieve these skin tones we only follow two steps. Select the proper white balance when filming and tweak the basic color correction settings. No pricey lights, no difficult software, no vector scopes or mats were used. Guess it was the easiest way to get nice cinematic skin tones. If you think so or not, please welcome to the comments. My name is Raman, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell and give this video a like. Cheers!